segment by Thomas Baker. And hi, I'm Susan. I'm sitting here with Thomas Somewhere Baker. I got advised that I had several cousins uh, 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 descended uh, not from uh, Simmons Jones Baker, but from James Lawrence George Baker, his brother, which I'm also descended from. You have a that, descent, that grew up right? that grew up in Florida, and one of these was a Gage. His name was Gage Baker. And somehow Gage Baker and I got in contact with each other, and he actually uh, came by and uh, visited one weekend, and I then mailed him a large package of genealogy stuff I had put together. But in our conversations, Gage had, had done a lot of touring around the country, pulling a house trailer with his wife and visiting libraries, particularly in Florida. And he mentioned two that he had visited. One, he didn't remember where it was or what it was, but there was an article from the Secession Convention of 1861 in which J.L.G. Baker as I recall it, raised his pistol into the air and fired it and said, I shall be heard. The other library he mentioned was something called the University of West Florida, which was in Pensacola. And he didn't remember what he saw, but he said, I thought I should go by there and take a look at it. Right. And some years later, a year or two later, I went by on the way from going from Wood, Texas to South Carolina on a visit. And uh, they looked through this folder which called, was called the Watson uh, Collection. And Captain Watson was married to, of the Navy, was married to a Baker daughter. I've, I've forgotten what generation. But they had, the papers had ended up in this collection. And the librarian showed me a file, brown file folder, and he said, well, this is another thing you might look at, and I glanced at it, and he said, recollections of Simmons Jones Baker. Well, I thought, well, I've seen at least 25 different versions of that. I don't need to see another. But just for the hell of it, I opened the thing, and there's this brown handwritten document, which turned out to be the original Recollections of Simmons Jones Baker of 1847, and that's how we found it, thanks to Gage Baker. Yes, and we went and saw that today's Monday. No, it's Tuesdays. We saw it yesterday, Monday. We drove to Pensacola, and it's still there. And they've now sent us some digital copy, photographed copies of it. So. Uh, to add one other thing, I made a typescript from the original of the recollections which the library Xeroxed for me. And then Gage Baker in Australia and I collaborated in making sure every word in the typescript was exactly what was in the word of the original document. Mm -hmm. I think I got a copy of that from my granddad's papers. It says from Gage, made by Gage. On yes. it. So yeah. the same okay. okay. End of narrative. End of narrative. All right, thank you. Is that enough? Thank you so much. I think so. Thank you. Go ahead and stop it.